G'day everyone, Hobbit81 here and welcome back to officially episode 1 of FTB Revelations here on Hobbit Gaming. And uh, yeah, episode 1 because the first one was episode 0 technically, just getting started, testing recording software, still having some problems but I'm using a combination of Audacity to record my voice and simple screen recorder to record my screen and then I'll probably have to cut off the bottom of the screen so you don't see my taskbar but hey, you guys don't need to care about that. Uh, all you need to know is that outside here we've got some nasties uh, and whew, night time is particularly not good. Let's see if I can sleep. Fortunately, I think I can. But of course, a lot of things don't burn up in the daytime because there is plenty of shade there. Ooh, there's a blitz over there or a, whatever the stone version of a blaze is. Yeah, Ooh, he's actually he's easier to see me. So let's actually just turn that down a bit. Um, I really want to go out and kill him and there's there's so many other things I'm not going to be able to kill him. What happens if you AFK my air for too long we get lots of slime balls. Lots of experience from that but also lots of um, things that want to murder me. Ooh, I want his bow though. Ooh, that was nasty that scully. He bloody knocked that thing right towards me then. Uh, I don't know if I can take on too many of these at once though. Mine guys, mine sort of fight amongst themselves for a sec. There we go. Yeah. So the best scully win. No enchanted bow though. Alright, get in quick. Go hard, go fast. I should have eaten while I was uh, watching the fight. And I know there's another one around. He hasn't seen me yet though. Well, you know what? I've got my own bow. So. Who is the bowist now? Oops, why did I throw that in? Gotcha. Nice, didn't die. I have died twice since last episode. Uh, once to a slime just outside my door because I AFK'd for a moment. Um, or sort of went away from looking at what I was doing. Um, they can be quite big sometimes and big enough to kill you. And the other time was a creeper. I came out here, I was fighting one creeper, and I didn't know there was one behind me. So, yeah, I'm still not a fan of creepers. Hmm, today, I've got a few things already set up. Um, let's see. We are ready to get this thing lit. This is not here last time. I've got a little bit of hole here. It's only one, two, three, four high. It doesn't like hide up in the roof at all. It's just it. Uh, got a bit of lava. So this is the first time actually fueling it. I don't even have hardened fluid ducts yet, so that'll do for now. One bucket of lava left over. I've got a clay brick here so that it can, once the gold's melted, we can make a cast for uh, making more ingots so we can at least be doubling our oil production for now. So that should be just about done. It is, so we can pour that out. And eventually I'm going to put a hopper here. For now, I'm just going to put in all of my iron because we need a little bit of iron so that we can actually make the last bit here. No, we actually need, I do have enough iron for that. I need something else for that. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but we do need more iron for pretty much everything. So that'll be good. What we need for here is uh, the last of this stuff. And we have this handy dandy portable crafting table. Make a few more seed bricks in here. That should be enough to get us the armor forge. Nice, because we'd like to make some Tinker's Construct armor as well as some weapons. A nice little setup here. So we've got the pattern chest that holds all the patterns. We've got the part builder that makes the parts. And then you've got the actual tool forge that puts them all together. And then the armor forge, g'day, um, to actually put the armor together, which I've had a little bit of experience with on the previous service. So we'll, we'll get into that really soon as well. Uh, the thing I really wanted from this after I get a bit of iron out of it is. Let me think. Um, Extra Utilities has a generator that I wanted to make. And I think it needed, no, this is not, that's actually pretty simple to make. There was something else I wanted to make that um, thermal expansion, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. things like getting a pulverizer early on would be good. Machine frame, no, that's pretty good. There's something that needed invar, and I can't remember what it was now. But uh, that's not too hard to do, I think. 
we can actually make that with what we've got now. Uh, let's get enough ingots so that we can actually get this stuff to be, hop it out of there. And then make a clock, a simple redstone clock that goes on top. And then we will be laughing. It has some chest on us to pop down here. Like that. Uh, we have enough at the moment, we do. And I'm just going to chuck all my ores in here for now. I, mean, I might actually want a couple hoppers. Keep my iron. That all looks good. I think zinc can go in here. Yep, that's fine. Let's put ingots in there. We don't want silver ingots in there. That's already been through. All right, and you know what? I'd actually a normal crafting table in here would be good. They're the old ones. I don't need those two anymore. They can just go in here for now. And all my other junk. Let's see. Just a normal crafting table. I've got planks, so I can just do this. Of course, normal crafting tables are inferior to the Tinker's Construct ones. I just need to craft that again. That can go over there, I guess, for now. And uh, Drifter Theory is um, blazing along. They've got plenty of time to play, much more than I do. So they advance pretty quick, usually. They're also pretty good at it. They know their mods pretty well. Um, no, it is one at the top as well. Um, don't have enough to make two at the moment, so let's just make one. So now that will automatically pull out of there. Just have to manually click that. And let's make a clock. Not those clocks, but one of these. What other ones do we have options to? Nope. Nope. Yeah, it is just that one. Just want to see if there's any other options. Sometimes there are. Um, redstone and some any stone. So we do need some cooked stone or smooth stone. Oh, that's a uh, screw out. Um, I did have a little bit here somewhere. I was using it for something else. And redstone, we've actually got plenty of, thanks to all the beehives you can find around the place. Get those around it, and a little bit of wood. I got sticks already. So we should have all the things we need to make this. A few of those. And that. Beautiful. I will make two because I'd like to have two. One for the other for making making blocks. And then I'll also make a couple of these my sticks. I hate make sticks, that is. Um, levers, I only got enough. One piece of cobble on me, dang it, that'd be right. Uh, more from here. I could have actually grabbed that from, from over there, but never mind. Right, clocks. So now we're back one clock uh, here, a little bit unsightly. And then if we can also pop a lever on the, either the front of it or maybe on the top, if we do that, does that work? And then do the same thing over here. Uh, oh, I didn't actually want you to do that. Turn off. It actually doesn't work as well. Okay, that's not actually working either. It doesn't work as well on the seared tank. Basin is it called casting basin because it kind of keeps doing it in spurts. So we might actually leave that one off there. As you see now, that has stopped doing that. Oh, it's empty. It's not empty, so we can do that. Nice. And that one's not hooked up to a hopper yet. But once that is as well, that'll also feed into there like that. Let's go to crafting, make another hopper. Not quite enough to make one more, we need one more. That'll be it. So this one will actually feed into there. So now all the ores will go into there, which is actually not something you always want to do. Uh, some of these things do mix, like the silver and gold will actually mix together to make um, uh, Inva, I think. I actually want a little bit of invar for something else I can't remember at the moment, so that's fine. So that's a very quick way to get some automation going. I can now pop a... Oh, I'll wait, actually. I'm just going to put one more hopper in. So last hopper. Very nice. Goes there. And then that'll automatically feed any blocks that get made into there as well. I like it. Very nice. That's a nice bit of early game sort of automation you can get done fairly quickly, pretty soon in the game. Uh, I have raided one or two little villages and got some uh, things like these. Are they still on me? I think I left them down to my mining spot, which I'll show off in a second. Um, there's some stuff here you can see. 
put some things away. Because I have so many slime balls, I'm thinking of making a little trading area at the, on the spawn island for people who want to trade things that they have excess of. Okay, this looks pretty tidied up. I like that. Let's have a quick snack and jump downstairs. So I started digging a um, thing. I thought, no, what? No, we're going to make a nice little hole. Just uh, jump down. And then, um, yeah, I put them here. Good. Phew. I thought I lost them. So I've got some storage crates here. Uh, some resources in them as well. These are great because they kind of act like shulker boxes where you can pick them up and they'll retain their inventory. They don't just drop them on the ground. So you can see doesn't tell you what's in them while you're holding them though. That's fine. And I've been doing some exploring around. Trying to find diamonds. Have not found a single diamond yet. Typical, you know. Wow, so I was digging around, just exploring. I found some pretty cool stuff here and there. I've not been over there yet. Um, I think what I really want to do is actually get some Tinker's tools set up. So I might do that and then see how we go from there. Okay, well that last section I recorded actually didn't record any audio, so that's great. That's up in the uh, top right hand corner, I think I'll put it up there. So you can see what I was doing, I was working on this stuff here. Oh, a bit of choppiness. Uh, I did manage to get up some more gold, I accidentally did mix all my gold together with the other stuff to make uh, things that I didn't actually want to make, but uh, yeah, gotta be careful mixing alloys together. Uh, I did get some bits together to make a sword though, I made a, just enough to make a cleaver for now. And then between videos, I also, um, well, during the, the previous one, I made this really, well, not very good pick. Um, I really need some obsidian. But um, what I'm going to do now is actually make uh, a cleaver for now. And I'm probably going to make one of each of the weapons to try out. And that. So it's got um, iron plate, it's got silver, it's got lead, and it's got electrum. It's shocking, so it's got a few different things. Um, holy would do extra damage against undead. Uh, poisonous will actually poison enemies, so it'll actually do quite a bit of um, bleed damage. So the good old hob cleaver, nice. Um, also need to go through and make the rest of the parts. Uh, I did make that one. I could at least have some little bit of uh, good armor, but I can't remember. You need like several different bits to put together to make the armor. So to make a helmet, for example, you need the, the helmet piece, but also trim. So I'm not going to do all that stuff on camera. That's kind of the, the boring stuff, which I'll do later. I'm really low on food at the moment as well, which is a bit of a worry. Um, how many modifiers? I only got one modifier. So I think that I will add one of my few diamonds onto it because I don't have any more modifiers for my pick. So I've been coming back to repair my pick quite often. Let's uh, increase the attack on it. Does a little bit, so that'll do. Let's add that, uh, and now we've got a pretty decent sword. Put that out. Ooh, why is it choppy now? It was working fine before. And not fine when I'm trying to actually record. Um, so what else? I'm going to try and uh, do a lot of the resource gathering and stuff off screen because that stuff's really not interesting. If you guys want to see it, let me know and I'll, I'll show some. But I've just been sort of starting around and digging up stuff here and there. I don't even have a really good method at the moment. What I need to do is finish making some more Tinker's tools so I can do some, get the hammer and the armor going. Uh, at the moment, I've got <laughs> technical glasses on and some broken armor and some slime boots, which is not good at all. Uh, let me go slash home, actually. Two of the other mods I'd like to get into, Railcraft, is going to be very important for what I plan to make for um, my main sort of bases in different locations. Uh, I'm going to be having the towers in the middle here and several locations with um, Steve's carts, mine carts, going in and out, doing different things, doing farming and, and mining and stuff. I think that's going to be a really cool design. More importantly, though, I've just um, heard that Dreadful Theory Theory has found the end portal and there's going to be a dragon fight later this week. So I really need to get uh, set up with some armor and stuff. It's not a super hardcore dragon fight like it is in some of, the mod, in some of the mod packs, but it's definitely you're going to have to get some proper armor made. Um, one of the other things I wanted to do was actually look at the Ender IO stuff. There's been a bit of an update and in the last mod pack, I could not work out what was going on because things have changed a bit. Let's grab some of these things out. These are all related to what I wanted to have a look at. Uh, let's actually, oh, actually, the thing you can do, you go uh, Z, and I'm going to press 3. All right, so we've got uh, a few swords that we've found, have been found in different various loots. 
And if I have a look at this one, you can see it's got a damage of seven, so there's this one, but the little things in blue underneath, so we have mini anvil and pocket anvil. I think pocket anvil is the better one. And here we have direct and we have empowered two. We only have empowered one. So if I take this one and I shift right click, it opens up the inventory. So you can see pocket anvil is the highest. Uh, this one has got empowered and some other things that you can put in there for different levels and direct and travel. So if I open up this one instead, shift right click, you can see this one actually has the full anvil, which means you can do more things with it, including the dark steel armor and I think using it as an anvil as well. Uh, what I want to do is add direct to this one and empowered two. And you have to have each of the ones. You can't just skip, I believe. As you can see, it requires empowered three to be installed. Uh, so you can't just skip one. You have to go ahead. So I've actually got a pretty good sword now. So that's actually going to be my main sword. I'm going to put these two. That's the wrong chest. Yeah, I've lost it completely. In there somewhere. Um, put that away. Oh, it's, it's just there. Now I've got two different swords. That does seven damage. This one does do, do, do twelve. Uh, this one has some other abilities though. Um, well, empowered means we need energy. Now at the moment, obviously, we don't have any energy. I want to try both these swords. Put that one over there. So what we can actually do is take a little trip over to Dreadful Theory Space. Whoop. Okay. They're obviously quite well set up. I'm just going to borrow their power thing over here. Quickly, shove that in there. Charges it up. And then spits it out in the chest. Now I've got a, a pretty powerful sword. And I've got my cleaver as well. Let's actually go test it out while it's night time. See how well this goes. See if we can find some mobs. If I just zoom out in the map a little bit, we should see that there are some around. Ripple Theory's got their base pretty well... Um, lit up around here let's try this one first one two three let's try the cleaver it's a bit longer to get ready and go one oh down to one heart and is he gonna die from that no now i'm energized and discharge oh yeah now i got turbo speed okay so this one's pretty cool as well so both of these have their advantages and disadvantages Beep. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I think it also kind of shocks the enemies as well, so that's also quite cool. Oop, missed. And hit. Actually makes it kind of a little bit difficult, and I don't know how hard that is to see now when I'm doing that. So, I don't know. I've got some options. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I do need to probably go and steal some food. I mean, burrow. I mean, you know, it's actually a really good one you can make if you grab some of the berries from these bushes. And is isn't... I don't think it even has to be different berries. I think it used to be... Now, if I just grab a whole heap of these berries and eat them straight, but if you mix them with a bowl, you can make a berry medley, which is actually a pretty good food. Yeah, disconnected before. It seems to be running a bit better now. So, we have a whole lot of these. Obviously, better ways to do this, but this will do for now. Grab a few of these. Uh, pretty soon, we're going to have. Um, these carts set up to do some animal farming, which I don't think I've ever done before, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, I want to try a whole lot of different things with the animals and the uh, Steve's carts. Really challenge myself and make some different things. I have different bases for different things. Let's try the Ender again. So when you kill them, you're stuck in the bush. Well, luckily, claimed land does not explode. Uh, when you kill them with the thing, it actually teleports the item to you, which can be useful when you're trying to kill something. And it's maybe near lava or something. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with both these swords. One, two. What if I actually do a critical strike and a normal one? Yep, also works quite well. All right. I'm feeling a little bit better about my uh, life now. Oh, that's, that's actually quite disconcerting. I might have to swap out that uh, Electrum tool rod, which is something you can do in this mod, you can actually swap things out. You know what? This does give beheading and oh, actually that's kind of handy to actually get away quickly. And I got a record for that. And heads are very useful for the Ender IO mod. Oh, he was behind me, wasn't he? Hang it, that's like my third death, fourth death. Um, 
What's the best way to do this? That's sleep first. <laughs> uh, boy, you gotta watch your back. And that's what also not having good armor is uh, very good for doing, is uh, slaughtering you. I don't know if anyone's able to sleep at the moment. I'm guessing not. Um, any one? Yep. All right. Never mind. Do slash home. Not slash home. Slash back. P e a c k. Uh, that did not take me where I expected to. Okay, and now I'm out of experience. Ah, oh, well, that's just dandy, isn't it? Let's just grab some experience from here. I need a tiny bit more experience. Do we have any more? Oh, okay, now we're sleeping. Thank you. Okay, uh, I need a tiny bit more experience. Do I have something that's cooked in here? Because if I take it out, not enough. Uh, is that enough? Yes. Oh, disorientating. Oh, and there's an enderman right there. Good, good. Right, let's go get our stuff back and then work out what we're doing. And that one I think might have even, whoop, you're still alive. Um. That looks a bit like a creeper fast, doesn't it? Run, run, dodge and run. Oh, yep, I have that record. And I thought you got to do this to break it. That going to get me. Die. Um, pants and shirt. I might have to come back and try and clean this up. At least do this. I'm going to break here, I think. I'm going to get all my Tinker stuff set up, ready to go to show you. I've been fiddling around with it. I'll, get, I'll actually show you me actually assembling it, but I won't show you all the part where I'm going to have to do some resource gathering. So I'll be right back.
the back and all of that work I did to make on uh, some armor and I don't know if I need it now. Um, because Faruki just dropped a, a set of armor. But uh, I thought I'd make mine anyway. We are here with uh, Faruki and Paramorph. They're not in the call, but uh, by making something cool, I managed to make Molten Night Slime, which I think is the first time I've ever done it. You need to get purple slime balls, which I got for some slime trees outside. They're trying to work out uh, skyberries from the nether. I don't have to grow here. I wanted to make some slime boots. Uh, first time using Night Slime. And I've already prepared a whole lot of other things here, as well as, uh, yeah, that's right. I was going to make this cleaver. Uh, cleaver? No, what was it? Uh, axe. Oh, all right, put that, 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 and this one. Um, choppy. Got the original with the names. There we go. And for the armor, let's get these two out. That one, all of these, all of those. People are throwing things at me. Um, <laughs> thought I had more bits. Um, someone gave me a oh, got travel on that one. That's handy. Thank you. Just gonna stand there in the in the in the thing there. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a carrot at you. Um, and let's see the arm stand. So, um, put one of these in. One of these, and let's select. We'll be making a chest piece, this, this, and a trim. Um, I don't think we need main leaves, let's just do that. And then for the helmet, we need the helmet piece. Uh, for the boots, we want this, the, these slime bits. And finally, leggings, you have to click that first, don't break it, okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Nope, wrong boots. These boots. And then I think if I actually take off, let's um, do the boots and this. We can also, I don't know if we need toughness level. So go in here, if I grab the boots in and put one of these in. Is that how we do it? Uh, upgrade your armor to the material toughness level. Uh, maybe we just do it in here. Oop, and maybe we hold it and right click it or something. I don't know how to use this one. Oh. Um, do, 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 whoops. Maybe anvil mode. Let's put the boots in here and put this over here. Oh, I might have to look that up how you actually use this one. Oh, combine with sand. I am so smart. The sand. Now, do we do it in here still? <laughs> um, this with some sand. Yes. Now, does it actually make it better? I'll take that out. Toughness is three. Toughness is four. And we're adding... Um, armor love stone. It operates better around it. Okay. Prideful. You're tougher after getting attacked and might save you in a pinch. Who knows? All right. I don't know what half of that stuff is. Let's take that one and this one. And can we add modifiers? We can add modifiers as well. So we're going to be doing that as well. Excellent. I'm not playing around too much with the Tinker's Construct Armor. Oh, I got a big. That's what the, uh, the bushes did. Okay. So now we have two sets of armor. I might make maybe even two different sets for two different occasions because both of these look pretty darn cool. Uh, yeah, actually. They're both pretty cool. So maybe we'll make one for our nether armor and maybe one for overworld or something. I have to see what some of the upgrades do. I have to make all the books and stuff. But I think that's all for today, guys. Um, I've made the new axe. I've made my new armor. I keep getting more and more loot. So we're definitely going to be starting a sorting inventory system soon. We have uh, my favorite one, refined storage. Uh, also, AE2 is there if you prefer that. But yeah, I'm, an, I'm a refined storage kind of guy. And uh, yeah, so definitely making progress. There's going to be a dragon fight. Next video is probably going to be the dragon fight. So I've still got to make myself a decent bow and get some more diamonds. There's a thing I found really early on. Was it this one? Might have been. You can turn it into some sort of boomerang. A pick a picker ring. Which, like, you can enchant it with stuff. So it is a weapon. Um, but I get a couple of diamonds. I'd like to make that. That was actually one of those little guys that run around and disappear when you try and attack them. I might actually put my, my valuable stuff up here. I've got so much slime now from having to uh, throw the slime trees over here. Ah, skeleton. How we go now? 
some pretty good armor now. Yep, doing a lot less damage. I seem to have some sort of like knockback prevention as well, which is handy. Woo! They're really fast. And uh, yeah, so grown the slime trees here. They don't have any stuff on me. And uh, when you break the leaves, you get a chance of um, getting the purple slime balls, which is the one you need specifically for making the night slime. So yeah, now we're all good. And uh, now I'm feeling a bit more protected. And I think um, Dreadful Theory is going to make some nice food for us for the dragon fight as well. Because I'm living off scraps at the moment. But I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made now. Uh, oh, that's the thing I wanted to test. How do these boots go with a bit of a fall? Because that's why I made them out of night slime. Is because I was hoping they'd protect me from fall damage. Mm, not so much. Maybe it's a sometimes thing. Nope. Okay. No, that was not good. Hmm. I thought uh, definitely night slime. Maybe there's a different upgrade we need for that. A different uh, modifier. Yep. Splat. Oh yeah, a bit more research. And maybe I should just make the books. I think it's construct even. That might be an idea. And I'll compare this armor to the one that Faruki made and see what we can do. All right, you guys are the big guys. You need to actually go down. And then also, I think next time, oh, the Hobbit is flat. We might also take out that island finally. I think we've got more than enough slime, more than we could ever possibly use. So I think it's about time to take that out. But that's all for now, guys. Remember, until next time, it's not dangerous. I didn't do it. Cheers.